Hi guys, in this video I will talk about source function in R. So let's get started. If you want to communicate the to the R community, there are two options is available. One is you can share the source file like .r file through your Gmail, Facebook, WhatsApp, whatever you like to the users and users can use your code by the source function and you opt this option if you don't know how to make a packages in R. The second option you, you are very familiar with that by making packages. You can make own packages and uh, upload the GitHub, GitHub or Crane, Crane website and you know how, how you can install the packages uh, by the writing uh, install dot packages in the R and then if you if you want to use these packages you have to type the library command this is very familiar to you and this option i will discuss in my next video but in this video i will discuss how you can share your code uh, through the gmail facebook this is this is rahul and he collect the data of phd student and this is the data set i will explain about this data set this is the data set and in each column there is a one student and there are 800 student and it is the marks of uh, second semester internal assessment and you know due to the coronavirus three months lockdown in the India. So government of India um, takes uh, take a decision is that a student who whose score average is scored is it more than 85 percent is exempted from the exam what does it mean uh, a student whose average marks is greater than 85 percent he directly or uh, forward to the third semester he did not give the exam right i hope you understand what the government of india make a decision now it is a duty of rahul is that he has to give the list of all past student to the university rahul start his job and first he got confused how i can solve this problem suddenly he got the first solution uh, he used the mean function and he calculate the mean of every column like first column then second column and third column so if he opt this option he have he has to write the 800 times and this is very very time consuming so again he frustrated and thinking about how uh, he can solve this problem after a few days what happened that he got the second solution uh, he make a function which calculate uh, automatically mean for you you can see that it, it look like a apply function and suppose this is the time when apply function is not made and this is the assumption for understanding purpose he make a function which take a data frame and calculate whatever function automatically he don't have to write many times right. these things i show you in r i opened the r studio i first i am creating a data set so as you can see that data set is created this is subject it is irrelevant so what i do now i remove the first column first column so as you can see that first column is uh, remove it and this is the uh, column of uh, a student now ravi create a function for calculating As you can see that function is created now he able to calculate the mean for every column so as you can see that uh, this is the column first student is Preeti and he calculate the average 74.25 similarly he calculate the second column for Akash 87 uh, similarly for rest of the student so as you can see that 87 is greater than 85 and uh, Akash is selected as a pass now what he do he make a list on the notebook and he write Akash so like that he make a list and send the list to the university alternative one you can 
think as the filter function which is available in dplyr you can also use that now let's go forward after a few days what happened that rahul is talking his friend uh, he he is living adam adam he is living in usa and they both are in pro, belong to the same profession and both are our programmer first they talking a casual but suddenly uh, what happened that adam says that go here in usa donald trump make a decision that uh, government ex exempt exam a uh, student whose average marks is more than 85% and i find difficulty in my project so suddenly rahul says that i faced same problem in india and i got my solution now adam says that please you can share your, your code so suddenly uh, then uh, rahul says that yeah i i i ready to share my code uh, you, uh, with the G, your gmail rest of the things i show you in r now rahul what he do he copy paste the code of function and make a another file like uh, whatever you like you can rename it but uh, ravi underscore df dot r it is the file name he is uh, then he save it in the desktop then it em he emailed to the adam i hope you understand now it's turn turn to adam what he do first he download from his gmail and put the uh, file name uh, ravi underscore map this is the r file to to near to near the his project now adam how he can use the code of rahul i show you first he opened his project project work adam open his project first he creating a data frame for so as you can see that there are two 2000 student uh, in the data frame and first for using it he 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 can use the source function he just run it this is the similar to the library function now he get the result i convert as a data frame so this is the data frame and this is the first column the, the because there are uh, this is very impossible to create a randomly 2000 the string variable that's why i am creating a v1 v, v2 v3 so you can sub, you can think as v1 is a first student v2 is a second student and he calculate the mean of first column v1 71 like the second column of mean is 81 like 90 and 85 so like that he make a list on the notebook and he send to the university i hope you understand thank you